Last night meant entrances for the 30 women interested in Peter or becoming famous or a little both. My name is Victoria. Victoria. And something that my niece and I do when we're nervous, we've happy dance the scaries away. The happy dance. Let's Ready. do it. Bust happy dance move. Do the happy dance. Hey, hey, whoo, whoo. That was whiter than a Mumford and Sons concert in Vermont. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Weird news yeah. now. Near Des Moines, <laughs> Iowa, a truck flipped and spilled 1,738 little piglets. You see one there. Oh. You see the one there. Good news. Police and animal welfare workers rounded them up. Well, uh, they rounded up most of them. There was one little piggy who went to the market <laughs> and one that went all the way home. <laughs> Wine consumption was down a bit for the year 2019. No, yeah, no, it was. <laughs> Larissa is trying to make up for it, apparently. But the wine industry says it is hoping to reverse the slide this year by bringing Kathy Lee Gifford back to TV. <laughs> Yeah. The owner of a small theater in Italy has passed away and wants his ashes to be laid to rest under the stage. Yeah, funeral services at the theater were held at 410, 630, 840, and 1050. <laughs> I, I would go to the IMAX, but, you know, whatever you want to do. A woman in Austin, Texas, called police after her ex-boyfriend stole her bag of Burger King in a sneak attack. <laughs> Police arrested the guy for theft and he admitted he was upset that another man was buying Burger King for his ex-girlfriend. Uh oh. Yeah, wait till he finds out his ex has been getting burgers from five guys. No! Oh! Wow. That was good. That was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, and when they broke up, she told him to hold his own pickles. So. Oh! In Kentucky, a woman was told by a probation oh. officer to provide urine for a drug test. Now, she got busted trying to pass off urine collected from her dog <laughs> as her own. Oh. Well, the good news here is you pass the drug test. The bad news is you have worms. Oh. <laughs> Another Bachelor spinoff is coming in The Bachelor, Listen to Your Heart. Oh. 20 single men and women whose lives revolve around music will search for love through music singing well-known songs both individually and as couples. They'll meet and explore the relationships while living together and going on bachelor-style dates that focus on music. And you know, I have a lot of ins. The Snark got an exclusive video oh, of an audition of one of the guys who was selected. Check this out. My dingling, my dingling, I want you to play with my dingling. Yep. <laughs> And of course, of course he made it. <laughs> yep. Can't wait to hear him singing that. Play that again. <laughs> my dingling, my dingling, want you to play with my dingling. In Texas, the owner of a dog food company is eating his company's product for the next 30 days to prove that it's healthy. But still, no one knows why he's drinking from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, one's, no one's been able to figure that out yet. From dogs to birds, our friends at FTV Live posted the video you're about to see of a Connecticut meteorologist excited to see a crow on his tower cam. Well, aren't you cute? Let me give you a little kiss. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> There's now a 70% chance he has the bird flu. Oh. <laughs> this is not the news. It's pop culture, entertainment, and gossip with attitude. This is your Daily Snark Report, and I'm Derek James. Yeah. All right. So, last night's debate was ladies' night. Oh, what oh, a yeah. night. Hey. As Elizabeth Warren proved with what is already the top tweeted and most replayed line of the night. I think the best way to talk about who can win is by looking at people's winning record. So, can a woman beat Donald Trump? Look at the men on this stage. Collectively, they have lost 10 elections. The only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women, Amy so and me. Yeah! Print that on a t-shirt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Well, of course, Warren got it fired up, so Amy Klobuchar, keep it going, girl. When you look at the facts, uh, Michigan has a woman governor right now, and she beat a Republican, Gretchen Whitmer. Kansas has a woman governor right now, and she beat Chris Kobach. And her name um, is, I'm very proud to know her, and her name is um, uh, Governor Kelly. Thank you. I have um, known my good friend, um, <laughs> really good friend, uh, Governor Kelly, since that time that we met. We met in a great city of people and things. Um, I remember we had an instant bond over a thing and we enjoyed a um, undisclosed meal or beverage of some kind. Thank you. <laughs> that, was, that, was a little, that was a little rough. All right, trash talk and sports go together hand in hand, but I'm starting to think that Jeopardy goat trash talk is the best kind of trash talk. <laughs> In spite of these scores you see here, we'll get rid of those scores right now. We will, of course, add them to whatever the... Hey, Brad, score is still on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wow! Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Now, of course, the correct comeback would have been, well, my score is also the number of dates you had in high school. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. What is my score is also oh, the number of dates yeah. you had in high school. And that is true for a... Well, oh, on. my gosh. Katy Perry says she would be a bad actress, and that's why she won't try it. I don't understand this. She's a bad singer, and she tried that. Yes. So, a McDonald's worker in Pittsburgh was fired after a photo of him with his hand down his pants went viral. Uh, yeah, hey, Gary, I need uh, two more ah! McNuggets in a... <laughs> and a kid-sized fry. <laughs> He's just trying to fill out the order. <laughs> Two McNuggets and a small fry. That must be a fun deal. <laughs> no, no special sauce. You're talking about the hands and the pants. <laughs> it's been great working here, y'all.